Hey guys, Bass from X Force. Today I've got another new blaster. Very cool. Um, something for the Speed QB boys, or even just normal. Uh, I wouldn't go mill sim, but just your normal field players. Let's take a look at the Honey Badger. All right, so this one. I cannot remember who it's done by. Um, it's written there, I think, on the site. <laughs> it's just got this flower on there. It's the HL015 Honey Badger. Alright, so I've got it in a... They come in a couple of colors, I think, but I've got it in a tan. The tan just looks... It's actually a very nice tan. Alright, so... There it is. Um, now, for some funny reason, well, I kind of know why. A lot of the Chinese companies stop putting uh, batteries and chargers, and a lot of people are upgrading anyway. We do get our bottle, and we do get 2000 of the old style gels. I wouldn't bother much with them, to be honest. But they're there just in case they do run out. The mag, very nice, very solid um, nylon with the, my favorite, with this top sort of opening doors and a cheap, crappy sort of, if nothing else. I always remember, we're going to have some of these in. These are Australian standard safeties. They're going to be about $5.50. If you really got nothing else. Anyway, let's have a look at this thing. Man, I can tell you, I really like it. First off the bat, I, you know, I wasn't one for honey badges as such, but it's nice, very compact, and the stock, spring loaded. Awesome. But build quality, guys, man, this is some really thick nylon uh, like the receiver the hangar everything's just very well made very solid that popped open again so yeah these little doors don't really like me anyway mag release also is really nice and big you can sort of get your finger on it um, mag wise I don't know uh, I would presume it would take gen 8s and all that other stuff uh, do I have a gen 8 one here that's a gen 8 they look similar gen 8 mag Yeah, but I mean, yeah, if you want to have a few more mags. That does extend a little bit further out. So if you're a big boy, it does come out more. Or you can push it right in and go for those really tight corners. Very nice and comfy around here. Nice suppressor, nice sort of, uh, which I think goes till about there. Now, your inner barrel basically is right there. I don't know if I can, I'm not, that whole thing comes off there. Let me see if I can take that tip off so I can have a better look. Well, that's spinning. Oh yeah, it's coming out. No, oh, no, that just pops out. Oh, I thought it was threaded. All right, so plenty of space there. Okay, but it comes right to the edge. So unless you want to chop that back a little and put a hop up, I've got to tell you, it is what it is. But in all honesty, for CQB guys, if you're going to use it for CQB or speedy stuff, I think it's fine. Uh, 
I really like the feel. <laughs> it really feels nice. Very comfy to hold here as well on, on the 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 handguards. Just you know, it's got that M locks handguard handguard and the, your Picatinny on top, so you can still put a sight. But it's really nice and comfy, nice and chunky too when you're holding it. Um, the pistol grip's also a mag pull, so your grip here is a MOE mag pull style grip. Very nice, very comfy. Um, that looks like a nylon trigger. Semi, full auto. And even though I really do like the, the receiver, I like this sort of straight line receivers, not the rounded off ones. It just, I don't know, it's a bit more crisp. Um, all the decals there, advanced armament, corp, so on and so on. So yeah, very nice finish. Very simple, but real nice. Very crisp, you know, lines. Very comfy. It's got a good weight. Not obviously, it's not metal. It's actually got a good weight to it. So for a small blaster, uh, it's actually got a decent amount of weight. All right. So let's take it for a bit of a spin. I'm gonna run some of our black label ultras. So basically your AK style gels. And see how they go. And get that out of the way. Now, I've set up some targets up there on that door. I'm gonna run a couple of <laughs> didn't put the battery. <laughs> All right, so actually, while I'm at it, you don't have to pull that all the way out, but just so you guys can see. So press that little button there. That just comes out now something I should have pointed out it's on the box it's on there in Chinese but it's on the box in actually sort of states it not to run 11 volts so we're gonna run a 7 volt doesn't come with batteries like I said so I know most of you guys that had blasters from before would have a small 7 volt or if you've got a bigger 7 volt in you know you can stick it in there there's plenty of space for a bigger battery not so much length but width um so i'm not sure why yet I, we haven't had a chance to look inside the gearbox it could be one of the gears selected or delay delay switch um so I think the gels are a bit small. I'm I'm shooting even two, so let me pop that out a bit. Accuracy is actually quite good on on single. I can hit that target constantly. I know it's only about eight meters or so, like I said for CQB, and you can't really go wrong. So just gotta remember it's a CQB blaster. Or yeah, field if you really want to take it out of field, but yeah, I don't think I have to shoot it too much. That that gives us quite a clear indication of where it's sitting at so it's not well but there's your numbers uh, and I call around the sort of yeah I'd say the 230 229 26 230 to 27 230 to 31 29.8 230 all right so 230 look it's not well but it ain't bad, all right? So, um, I remember CQB 
shorter barrel, blah, 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 means less FPS normally. Certainly would be worth having a look in there and see where it could be improved. I'm quite sure it could be improved. Uh, but, you know, for close range stuff, even a 230 is not bad. Uh, like I said though, very solid. I am impressed with the build. Um, and I just, I do like the look of it. It feels good to hold. Um, very comfy. The grips, everything is just, yeah. Nice blaster. Definitely stepping it up, guys. You know, uh, we're improving. So if you are keen for something that's a little bit different and love the Honey Badger, then by all means, I think these are great. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps. And uh, if any comments, if anything that I might have missed, please do so. Uh, there's not really a lot that I can say other than, you know, metal parts. You've got the rails there and the door. And that's probably about it that I can see. The rest, it's very well built, very strong nylon. Uh, definitely definitely a massive step from the old gen 8 stuff so solid blaster 230 fps gotta run it on 7 volt and probably some slightly bigger gels in there running the the ak ones are probably a little bit too small but they ran fine you might get better numbers with say orange gels uh, or, or something that's a little bit bigger all right again thanks for watching like share and uh stay safe guys